the Bulls versus the Bears. Get in the game. www.tackletrading.com Matt Just is here, here to talk to you a little bit about the market maker move. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions recently from students uh, concerning the market maker move, how to determine how far a stock can move uh, during its earnings report. Well, in Thinkorswim, if you go to the trade tab right there, you will see right here on the right-hand side, there's a yellow icon that says the market maker move. Now, on Apple, there is no market maker move because there, and the reason there's no market maker move is there's no you know, expected movements and volatility and whatnot. And what they, and they'll tell you it's calculating this advanced algorithm and whatnot. What it is, is you got a, you got an economic event, you got a major earnings report coming out, and you'll see basically what the market expects uh, for Apple or for whatever company you're looking at for, for what them to move on their actual earnings. Well, let's take a couple examples this week in the market. Uh, one uh, report we have this week in the market is Tesla Motors. As you can see, Tesla has earnings being reported here. Their earnings to date, if you just put your crosshairs over, is 731 after the market closes. Because as you have an increase in volatility this month over the next, you're going to see a market maker move right there. The market maker move, the three M's, is 16 points. What that means is there, the market expects the stock to move 16 points. It doesn't mean up or down. It just means move one way or, or the other 16 points. Well, that 16 points is built into the value of an option. The market is very efficient, and so if you're just going to buy call and put options right now, that is already built into the into the value. So, for example, if you right-click on the at the money uh, strike price and go to buy, and you just go down to straddle, you'll see the value of these options is eighteen dollars and forty-three cents. Well, sixteen dollars of that is the market maker move. The remaining portion, two dollars and thirty cents, that is time decay because these options expire in uh, three days, which includes the earnings report. So, if you do not have the market maker move here of sixteen points, once again, what the market expects, because it is inherently incorporated in the value of an option at the straddle price, just right-click on the at the money stri uh, strike price, go up to buy, click on straddle, and you'll see that value right there is very similar to the value of the $16. And so that's the best way to, to assess what the market expects is either number one, the most accurate way is the market maker move, or two, the at the money straddle price. So let's look at another one that like, for example, let's just pull up, uh, we'll go Priceline here. Priceline doesn't report earnings this week, it reports earnings all the way out in you know, the 11th of August. And so if we went to the trade tab here, Priceline is only expected to move $11. Now that is this week. If you look at that, if we once again go to the at the money straddle price, okay, right click on the, let's go with the 552s, buy, straddle, You'll see that $20, $11, $12, $12 of the $20 it would cost is the market maker move. The rest is time decay. So now when we look at that, that does not include when the earnings report. Remember, the earnings report doesn't report until August 11th. So if you go all the way out to the 17th, okay, the uh, last 17 days in August, this price does include the expected earnings gap, and you'll see just an absolute massive difference difference in cost here because the August, the monthly August includes the earnings report. The weekly, today's the week this week does not. And so if we right click on the same there on the at the money, we're going to right click buy and we're going to go to straddle. You'll see that we have an expected move of $77, which is far above the $12 that the market expects this week because of earnings. And so when you look at that, more than likely about $60 of that expectation is based around the earnings report. The rest of that is time decay. So you want to, when, you, when you're looking at what the market maker move is going to be for an individual stock that includes its earnings, you have to include the closest expiration date to the, uh, that includes the actual earnings itself, not just the closest expiration date. 
So once again, just to recap here on Priceline, we would have used the monthly, not the weekly, to include it in the in the actual you know market maker move, and that was right around seventy-seven dollars. If you looked at the week at the weekly, it was only around twenty dollars. Now, if we went back to you know Tesla Motors here, okay, we can use the weekly because that's what uh, includes the earnings report. Right click on the add the money, go to buy straddle. And then all, all of a sudden you see the market make a move of $18, very similar to that because there's no time decay left in that. Hope that helped you assess kind of how to determine how far a stock can move on earnings. Get in the game, www.tackletrading.com.